I grew up in Hollywood. My father was the best stuntman around, and my mom, well, she was a classic beauty. They got me into this crazy business, and through them as a kid, I met some of the greats, Brando, Newman, McQueen. Steve McQueen had always been a hero of mine. He was a lot like my pop. He was tough and cool. He was the real thing. And from what I read, he searched his whole life to find his father and never found him. When I was 13, Mom split. Things between me and Pop just weren't the same. But when I landed the lead role in a film based on McQueen's life, little did I know that I was walking down the same road as the character I was playing. Only my father was standing right in front of me. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Hey, are you Steve McQueen? Yeah, that's right. There you go, boys. Hey, Terry, the show's almost over. You gonna pay your tab or what? No, I believe I'd be leaving that tab in my will for David here. You're great. Thank you very much. I'll see you. Good night. Give me a beer. That'll do. Steve. Hello, Terry. How are you, man? Hey, you know, that was a hell of a gag out there today. Well, yeah, we wrecked them pretty good, huh? Count down to the big one. Tell them how big the show's gonna be. Bigger than anything you've seen in Bullet, that's for damn sure. <laughs> Grab a table. You got it. Bullet, seven minutes, 12 turns, four jumps. Watch this. Mm -hmm. All right, first charge sets the car spinning. Then we got another charge right down here that that car just clears after three 360s right down the main drag, just like this. Oh, that better not be me, brother. No, I'm doing this in myself. No, 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 you're never gonna pick up enough speed to do three 360s through there. I'm telling you, it's flat on a tortilla. It does look kind of dangerous. Yeah, of course it looks dangerous, man. It's the movies, for Christ's sake. I got this all worked out. Look, two 360s. Throwaway cameras here. If you put one here, it's gonna save your ass. And I'm telling you, it's gonna wound just the same. Stand there and tell me how to do my job. I'm not telling you how to do your job, pal. Just trying to help. Listen, you act, and I'll take care of the damn stunts. I'll tell you what, I'll race you for the call on this one tomorrow. I win, we do the stunt my way. You got it, Slate. Yeah, just trying to keep David here from having to pay your beer tab. Hey, Slim. Well, hello, Slim. <laughs> Where you been? Hi. Hi. What? You can't raise him. Look, Allie, let's... The studio will never allow it. The studio's it. never gonna know. Steve, you can't do this. Look, don't worry. I'm gonna win. I've been doing this shit my whole life. What... What are you trying to prove? I'm not trying to prove anything, okay? I see a guy who's gonna make a big mistake. You just want me to sit back and let it go? 
Well, I'm not gonna be there when you crack open that stupid, stubborn skull of yours. Well, do whatever the hell makes you happy. If you can't handle it, don't go. But I'm not gonna kiss your ass. Fine. Shit. Working on the film was grueling at times with playing an icon and all the pressure, but I loved it. Then one day, Lucky called, and he asked me to come by the store to see Pop. Three, four for the dealer. I got an ace, and a king, and a queen, and a jack. Unfortunately, a four. Ah. There you go. Ah. Read it and wait. Yeah, well. Hey, what was the name of that picture that you did? Uh, you know, the Big Deal Western. Keep on Charles? Yeah. I keep on forgetting that. Who directed that? I had two days' work, and I can't remember a thing about it. Start again. One more time, out pots of light here. Deal them like Broderick Crawford and Born Yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you're in a... Just give me some good know, cards. Okay, here you go, Junior. Can or talk. Anybody interested in the place yet? As a matter of fact, the Japanese outfit bought me out. I reckon Hollywood needs another parking lot. It's a crying shame. Did you tell Jack yet? No. What are you waiting for? He's gonna stop by. There won't be nothing here. That's a hell of a way for your son to find out you're gone. I called. All I keep getting is that damn answering machine. Fellas. Hey, hey Jack. Hey, I haven't seen much of you lately. How's that picture going, boy? Unbelievable. Very busy. Hey, you got a new Cal Ripken in, huh? Big shot actor son of mine comes in here for my free coffee. Wonder if this boy's ever going to pay for his own coffee. <laughs> Come on, it's one cup. Where you been? I've been busy. You've been busy, huh? Yeah, I'm working on the picture. Oh, yeah, and by the way, when you call somebody, leave a message. Just don't hang up when the machine comes on. How do you know I've been calling? Well, I told him. Where's well, a right to know? Okay, forget it. Well, forget what? Come on, Lucky asked me to come by store. Says you got some big news for me. What? Well, Lucky calls, and you're here as fast as the cavalry, huh? And I call. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. When did you ever call me back? Like I said, forget it. Chuck, don't you think you should cut it? Harry, butt out. Jeez. You better tell him. Would somebody just tell me what's going on? I sold the store. I'm moving out of LA. So where are you going to now? I'm going to try Reno. Reno? When did you come up with this one? I've been planning it for a while. It's something different. I need a change. And what about Lucky and Harry here, huh? You just going to walk out on them? I'm not married to them. Thank God. i got to think about me on this one. Well, that's typical. That's real typical. And when were you going to tell me? I tried. You're a hard man to get a hold of. Play it that way. Jack, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What are you, his mother? Reset camera. Good. Come on, guys. Back to one. Okay, stand by. We're going to go again. Quiet, please. Thanks. 
Okay, action. You know, I folded winners in that last hand. Well, that was a hell of a thing to do. Yeah, well, I got so lucky getting that fifth card, I got embarrassed. Are you crazy? That's no way to play so poker. So I thought it was time to ask you what the hell you're trying to pull. What are you talking about? You, shooter man, you've been dealing me cards for an hour. Like hell I have. <laughs> kid, 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 listen. Even if I was, no one could spot it. Now you know that, huh? I'm too good a mechanic. I forgot my line. I'm sorry. Can we go again? Cut. Action. I'm sorry. Can we go again? Cut. Oh. Okay, reset. Back to one. Set. Okay, actors. Action. You know, I folded winners in that last hand. Well, that was a hell of a thing to do. Yeah, well, Lucky got... Oh, sh shit. Cut. You two-bit actor. You okay? Yeah. So what's up with Jack? I don't know. I'll talk to him. All right, well, what have we got left? Everybody's tired, let's just pick it up tomorrow. Okay. Thanks. All right, everybody, that's a wrap. We're gonna pick it up same place tomorrow. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Listen, Jack, I'm no, telling you, two bits can't be 25 well, I'm cents. I'm telling you, I think it is. No, listen to me, no, listen, listen to me. 25 cents is a quarter or two dimes and a nickel, or five nickels. Never do you have to go down here. It's 25 cents. You're I know wrong. it is. You're I'm not wrong. Yeah. Yes. I'm telling you. What? Can you come straight to makeup tomorrow morning? Look at this. They never give me enough give me time. Call, so do you want me to change the policy? No, no, leave the change. I'll, uh, right. I'll come in early, Marsha. OK? You. You're welcome. Any stupid All right, I'll be right there. Look, I got to go, man. Ladies. Yes. Uh-huh. Two bits. <laughs> How much money are we talking about? What's a bit? I don't know. I think it's a quarter. Two bits, 50 cents. No, right. no, 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 no. Two yes. bits is a quarter. No. 25 cents. This is a bit. You're a bit. A bit much. OK, I'm not even going to ask what that was about. Oh, Ann, how you doing? How you doing? You doing OK? okay? Yeah. Here are your line changes for tomorrow. Oh, great. Tomorrow, They're huh? not that bad. Okay. You had a tough day today, huh? Tell me about it. Yeah. Hey, you want some water or something? Want something uh, to drink? Yeah, sure. That'd be wonderful. Thanks. You know, Jack, your concentration was a little off today. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Do I have reason to worry about this? Well, I want to see my old man today. He's uh, moving. He's going to go to Reno. Hmm. What's in Reno? <laughs> I have no idea. Well, is that uh, good or bad news? I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know. I mean, we don't talk. You know, I think the thing that's bothering me is that if, if he goes, I know I'll never see him again. You know? Then again, maybe it's no big deal. I just don't know. Hmm. You know, it's funny. My mother, bless her heart, when she lived close by, she drove me crazy. She called me and nagged me all the time. And uh, then she moved to Florida, and I never hear from her anymore. Hmm. And thinking about it, I think it was just a diversion for her. Something to keep her from being bored. Well, well I guess we all have our horror stories, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of horror stories, I really hate to do this, but I gotta run. Why don't we grab some coffee and talk some more about this tomorrow? You got it. All right. Night, Jack.
Hey, Chuck. Hi, Lucky. <laughs> a lot of memories in here. Yeah. Some of them I could do without. Oh, Jesus. Look at this. First time we ever jumped from a moving train. We were just a couple of snot-nosed kids back then. <laughs> Remember Willie Mackey? Double for Alan Lett. Jumped right after us. Yeah. Ended up with an ass full of cactus spines. <laughs> <laughs> we sure had some fun. Yeah. I hate to see you go. You gotta come visit, Lucky. You and Harry. I got room for you both. Yeah, I'll do that. No, it's none of my business, but uh, I have something to say. Yeah? Yeah, you gotta talk to Jack before you leave. What am I gonna tell him? It's clear the boy doesn't give a damn. <laughs> you gotta learn to read between the lines, Chuck. He's stubborn, he's proud, and he's a lot like you. He's like a stranger to me now. You know, when he was a kid, he used to follow me around all the time. I was his hero. I can't remember the last time that we sat down and talked. You ought to do something about that. I don't know, Lucky. I pile up so many regrets in my life, there's no room for anymore. I don't want to say the wrong thing now. How'd you know where to find me? Lucky, of course. Yeah, lucky. You know, I forgot how hectic these places can get. Yeah, it's pretty busy. Listen, can we go someplace and talk private? Excuse me, Jack. We need to rehearse. Hi. Who's that? Well, that's Annie. She plays Allie. Why didn't you introduce me? I mean, it's common courtesy. I'm your father, you know. I don't know, Pop. I didn't hey, even Jack, think of it. Hey, Jack, we're ready for you. I'll be right there. Isn't there any place to go private? It's getting late, people. Listen, there was something I wanted to tell you. Jack, we day. need you now. Pop, I'm sorry, I gotta go. Okay. Go on, you're busy. You made me so mad last night. Fine, maybe we should just call the whole thing off.
had to do it, didn't you? <laughs> I talked to my husband today. He says he misses me. Oh, yeah? And I'll bet you miss him, too, don't you? Well, I think about it now that the film's almost over. Look, I tell you what, I got it all figured out, baby. See, here's what we do. We fly out to LA together, and we walk in and we tell them together. What do you think? Stay right there. Yeah, what do you got for me? Nothing. You listen, you son of a bitch. Baby, I gotta take this call. Mr. McQueen. Hello, are you there, Mr. McQueen? Oh, by the way, I'm still not going to the race. Call me. All right, I'm not paying you another dime to sit on your big ass. If you come up with leads or you're fired. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Look, I'll see you. Mr. McQueen, I'm here with the car. Okay, I'll be right there. Mr. Packapaw said he wants you on set. Look, I said I'll be right there. No, don't tell me you'll see what you can do. I mean, the list was ended. Look, how hard is it to find a man who's not even hiding from you? I just about run out of leads. I need more time. Listen, for all you know, my old man's dead. I need more time. Get back to me when you have something. Yes. You know, I'm really gonna miss everybody. Yep, it's gonna be real tough when this is over. Hey, what's going on in your mind? I don't know, Annie. This is about as quiet as my life has been in a long, long time. You know, I put my life on hold for so damn long, I don't know if there's anything to even go back to. Well, would it help if I told you you did a hell of a job? Thanks. You'll be okay. Yeah, I know. You know, I read somewhere when McQueen was looking for his father, and when he finally found him, he was dead. And the only thing he left him was a cigarette lighter. It has initials on it. And he was so mad that he took that cigarette lighter and threw it down the street. Man. Does that make you think about your father? He's leaving tomorrow. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna miss him. He has seen some golden years. He's brought happiness and tears I have seen him barely alive But somehow he'd always survive He has been my loyalist friend I'm sure he'll stay that way to the bitter Sometimes it brings tears to my eyes And if I have my way 
still living till he dies Sure you don't want to go watch a race? No. I'll just wait here and see what happens. Suit yourself. And don't you tell him I'm here.
Pop. Jack. How you doing? All right. Yeah. I just came by to see if you need a hand packing or anything. No, everything's all taken care of. Wow. Sure. Yeah. Wow, the place looks so different. Last pot of coffee. Oh, man. That's on the house. It makes it a lot better. Hey, you know, Pop, I've never been to Reno. I... No, it's not a bad place. I got some land. I think I'm getting a couple of horses. I don't know, Luck. I think we got too much this time. Hey, there he is. Look who it is. Look who it is. How you doing? Hey, Harry. How are you, Lucky? So, you finished that picture yet, Jay? Hey, man, we wrapped yesterday. Right, nice. Unbelievable. I think you got to do a stud. I bet you showed him how it's done. Well, you know, I learned from the best. <laughs> hey, you got that right. So, do we have uh, time to play a game of cards? Mm. I'll make the time. Yeah, right. there you go. Oh, yeah, I'm going to right. miss this boy. You're playing five card, what? Very easy. Well, well, choice. You five deal. Uh, All right, here we go. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about that time that I uh, worked on uh, the Queen King? You know, I still haven't made it to Reno, but I got a letter from Pop, and he asked me to come visit. He got the horses, and he built up an old ranch on five acres of hills and trees. And, well, he saw my film, and he said he was real proud. As for Steve McQueen, I'm sorry he never found his father, but I'm sure grateful he helped me find mine. Yeah. 